Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to bring to you some Valentine's looks. Obviously Valentine's is next weekend. So I know you guys will be looking for outfits, makeup ideas, hair ideas. So I wanted to bring this to you guys. I have two little braids. Um, curled my hair. Obviously you can't go without a red lip. And I have three different outfits for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. I'm using Infallible's Pro Matte in color 107. To set the foundation, I'm using Infallible's Pro Matte Powder. And to contour, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. For my eyeshadow, I do use my concealer, the Age Rewind by Maybelline. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. It's my favorite. On the lid, I'm using Foxy. And on the crease, I'm using a little bit of Tease. And on the inner crease, I'm using Busted. Finally, to highlight the brow bone, I used Booty Calm. Now it's time for concealer and I use obviously Maybelline's Age Rewind and Fair Claire. For the concealer, I use Laura Mercier's translucent powder. Also, a quick trick is to put a little bit of the powder around your contour just to make it sharper. Curl your eyelashes. For my eyelashes, I use L'Oreal's Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. To finalize the look, simply dust away the extra powder and blend, blend, blend. to your lower lashes. My favorite highlighter is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. The Tata Blush, it's Luminoso by Milani. For eyeliner, I use the Super Slim by Infallible.
base, I'm using NARS Cruella. And then on top of the base, I'm using Sephora's Cream Lip Stain in 01. For the inner corner of my eyes, I'm using Girl Talk by NYX. And as you can tell by my reaction, I almost forgot my eyebrows and I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. the finished look. Okay guys, time to control this crazy hair. So my idea for cute, sexy hair, obviously curls. Um, I love curls. And two braids, kind of like a crown. And then the curly hair in the back. And in the front as well. You need two little rubber bands and a clip to pull back your hair so it's easier to braid. And when I first thought, I thought I would do two little braids, but um, it's too thin. So we're going to do a thicker braid on both sides. So I'm thinking like maybe this much. So what we'll do is we'll separate it and do the same thing to the other side. So what I'll do is just get this hair out of the way. Okay, so now we can start braiding. What you do is you grab three pieces. First one side, obviously. And what you do is you braid very close to the head. So there's braid one, and we'll tie it with the rubber band. And you don't have to braid all of it, because you want to be able to curl that bottom part of your hair. Okay, now we can do this side. So there's your two braids. I can put the hair down and we can add volume, curl it, and it'll look super cute. First outfit I put together is for my corporate chic girl, the girl that has to go to work but maybe has a hot date after work. 
And the shoes are Shoe Republic. The pants are from JCPenney. The sweater and top are from Forever 21. outfit is from a girly girl, the girls who love skirts, and it's super chic. Shoes are Betsy Johnson. The skirt is from choice.com and the little crop top is from Forever 21. last outfit is for my girls who are going out on a sexy hot date. The dress is from Forever 21, the boots are Steve Madden, and the blazer is also Forever 21. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.